drive that you would maybe do differently? Um, first off, I, I wish I wouldn't have tripped. <laughs> that would have made it a lot easier. Uh, that's just, it's, it's Navy football. We have, when we're down in the goal line, when we're close to the end zone, we got to put the ball in the end zone. Um, and we just didn't. Um, that hurt us uh, in the end, obviously. And uh, we really wanted to get the ball in the end zone. I was just outside. The footing out there was just almost impossible. Can you talk a little bit about what that was like to try to play in those conditions? Especially um, for somebody like you who really needs your thoroughbred. I mean, you, uh, you, you didn't have much of a traction out there. Um, it, it really wasn't as big as a factor as I thought it was going to be. Um, obviously, you, you're cognizant of it um, when you're making cuts and stuff like that, but it, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Malcolm Coach said that they decided two weeks ago that you were going to start knowing that you were going to have the game put into your the ball put in your hands today. Let's talk about that and, and the scheme that you all employed with the zone three book. All right. Um, uh, so two weeks ago, I, I was told I was going to be starting quarterback against Army. Um, you know, all throughout the week, <clears throat> we just we practiced, we got our game plan in, and, and it was it was obvious that I was gonna have the ball in my hands a lot, um, and uh, that's what we came out and did. Um, that's pretty much it. There were a few times that seemed like a, a pass was gonna be called, and I know that's not Navy football, but do you think that now that you're basically gonna be the starting quarterback, they're gonna start get, having you throw the ball a lot more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what what's uh, in coach's head for the future. Um, I know if, if that's what they ask of me, I, I'll, I'll get ready to do that. So um, I don't really know what's what's in Malcolm, how tough are the emotions? Because you played really well, but yet your team didn't get the result you wanted. So what, what's kind of going through your mind at this point? Um, my performance isn't satisfying unless we win. Um, uh, we put ourselves in a position uh, to possibly win the game, and we didn't. Uh, you know, we made too many mistakes. Can you talk about the whole experience playing this game in the snow today? Um, it was not, I mean, it doesn't really affect the game. I mean, it's Army Navy, you know, it's going to be a tough game, um, <coughs> physical, and, uh, you know, that's what it was. Malcolm, coach said that going forward, he's almost certain you're going to be quarterback. Is this your team for now? And going forward for the rest of your time at the academy? Um, I feel like if the coaches uh, get that call, um, I feel like the guys are behind me. Uh, I feel like I'm able to take that position, uh, you know, get this team going in the right direction. How about on that, that one incomplete pass? You look pretty wide open on that. Right. Um, you know, <clears throat> that's just one of the plays that, you know, you wish you could have back. Uh, you wish you could complete that pass, you know, probably change the game. So, that's big. Didn't Craig complete that quite a bit in practice? Right, right. We practice that a lot in practice, and uh, you know, it just it's football. You know, you go out there and, and things happen. So. On the second big run that uh, looked like you were going to go for the touchdown and you went down, did the field conditions have an effect on that? I think I think they definitely played a, a little bit uh, into me actually falling, but you know, I wish I wish I could have kept my feet and scored. Look, it looked like they got a small piece of your foot, the defensive end from over. Right. Um, yeah. I guess he, he, he did get a piece of me, and it was enough to get me down. So. He had a question for Malcolm. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, Malcolm.